Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you how to stream Wii and GameCube games to your PS Vita from the Dolphin emulator using the Moonlight application. So I have already made a video on Moonlight. It's a really good application that allows you to stream your PC screen to your PS Vita uh, using NVIDIA. So you will need a NVIDIA graphics card for this. But yeah, I have made a whole tutorial on this software before. I will leave a link to that in the description because I won't be doing everything in this video. In that video, I mostly show just Steam games, but you can actually stream the Dolphin emulator and even get the PS Vita's controls to work. So let me show you that in this video. I'll show you some gameplay and just show you guys what it's like. So let's start up the Moonlight um, streaming software. Now, I've already set this up before. Um, if you haven't, you will actually need to connect to your PC. So just go to connect to. Now you need to enter in your IP address. So I will show you how to get that over on your PC. Right guys, so on my PC right now, you're gonna need three apps just to start off with. You must have the GeForce Experience and you must have a graphics card that supports it so you can stream. So once you're in this software, what you want to do is go up to the settings, go down to Shield and make sure you turn Game Stream on. This is so we can now connect to our PS Vita. You also must have Steam installed. Um, if you don't have Steam installed, you won't be able to use this because this is part of their um, sort of glitch. Um, you would open up Steam on your PS Vita and then sort of exit out of it and open up the Dolphin emulator. So that's the last thing you need guys. You also need the Dolphin emulator with some Wii and GameCube games on here so you can test. And the controller will actually work. So you can actually control it from your PS Vita and I will show you how to set that up once it's connected. But anyway, let's just connect our PS Vita to our PC right now. So we're actually going to open up command prompt. So just type in CMD and go on the first option. Now inside of here, you just want to type in IP config. So IP CONFIG and then just press enter and it's gonna give you all the information about your IP address. Now the one we want is the IPv4 address um, and it's this one right here. So 192.168.1.91. Yours is going to be different than mine, but this is what we enter in on our PS Vita. So my IP was 192.168.1.91. And then we can just do the green arrow and then it's going to start connecting. So you go guys, it has connected to our PC and it's actually come up with my graphics card and stuff like that. Now, out of all of these applications, we are not interested in any of them apart from Steam. So go down to Steam and just press the X button. Now it's going to start connecting and streaming to your PC. So you go now on my PC screen and it's just refreshed and it's gone into the, um, I believe it's called big picture mode or something like that. And you can see the controls work and stuff. So now guys, we actually need to go back onto our PC and we actually need to just um, kind of exit out of this. So just press the windows key and then back up to the desktop. I'll leave you guys viewing on this um, so you can see what it looks like. So that's what you do guys, you press the Windows key, then click the um, small right hand option, I'm not really sure what it's called, but just double click it and it will back you out to the desktop and then you can just open up the Dolphin emulator. Right guys, just to set up your PS Vita as the controller, just click on controllers, go to port one and just click configure. Now go to where it says input gamepad and just click refresh. Now hopefully it's going to pick up your PS Vita as your controller. Um, as you can see, I'm moving the analog sticks right here and I'm pressing buttons and you can see that it's actually working. So you can see that A and B are flashing right there when I press X and circle. So we've now got the PS Vita working as our controller. So we can click on OK and now click on OK again. And now we can just start one of our games. So now we are going to select a game. Um, so I don't really want to show too many Nintendo games because um, they're a bit funny about their gameplay. But let me just show you the intro of um, um, New Super Mario Bros Wii. Right, so I just clicked start on um, Mario Bros and now the game is loading up. There is also an FPS counter just at the top there 
um, and it will tell you what your FPS is. So mine seems to be on 60, um, so that is pretty good. So let's just give this some quick gameplay. Maybe I'll show you the menu. Um, obviously, I can't really show too much Nintendo gameplay, um, but the sound does work. Let me turn up the sound a bit. It might be, sometimes it might lag sometimes, um, just like that. You might get a little bit of like sound glitches and stuff, but it is, you know, pretty good considering we're streaming a Wii game um, to our PS Vita from our PC. I will show you some gameplay um, of some GameCube games because obviously they don't have any copyright at all so I can just get away with it. So let me do that right now. So once you're bored of the game, you will need to actually go onto your computer and just press the escape key. So we're going to give a GameCube game called Time Splitters a try, and this is actually a really good GameCube game. And I can show you guys gameplay on this um, without actually getting in any trouble, so it's perfect. So let's just test this game out quickly. Now this is going to be interesting because I'm not 100% sure what the controls are, and I appears to be getting quite a few um, you know, large frame rate drops. I'm not sure if that's my PC, because I don't actually have the best PC, um, but you know, it could just be um, this, you know, the stream lag as well. And I'm not actually sure what shoot is, to be honest. I don't even think that, maybe that's not set up right, if this is a bit of a mess. But anyway, this is what it looks like when you stream, um, you know, GameCube games and Wii games to your PS Vita. So you guys can definitely ch test this out, it is very interesting. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.